Okay, student, let us see what is there in this question. An object of mass m is accelerated vertically upward by a motor at a constant acceleration. So acceleration is constant. The object is initially at rest <coughs> and reaches a vertical speed of 4 in 2 seconds. So here the speed is 4. Here the speed is 0. And the time taken is 2 seconds. So clearly kinetic energy has been added into the system. What is the average power output? So my dear student, first of all, whenever we think of power, the formula that come to come into our mind is F into V. So we say that the power will be equal to F into V. But this formula is not valid in this scenario. This formula is derived under one condition that the body is moving at a constant velocity. If the body is not moving at a constant velocity, this formula is not valid. We cannot apply this. And clearly in this case, the body is getting accelerated. If it is accelerated, the velocity is not constant. Hence, this formula is not valid. Yes, you can find the instantaneous power at some instant because the velocity will be given as 4. You can find like, okay, this much is the force. This much will be the power uh, <clears throat> used instantaneously. But that will be a variable. It is going to change at every instant. That is why only we are having a concept of average power because power is not constant. But what are we going to do now? So what we do, there is another concept. The power is also defined as change in energy by change in time or rate of doing work, isn't it? So we have to find what is the total work that is done and what is the total work or what is the total change in energy? Both of them like the work is equal to the change in total energy here so the kinetic energy is also changing and the potential energy is also changing so in this question first we will find the change in kinetic energy that will be half m v square minus zero so half mass can be taken as capital m v is four so that will be four square this is the change in the kinetic energy let us go for the change in potential energy now Change in potential energy will be clearly mgh, but the height is not known. So we have to find the height. And that we will be using s is equal to ut plus half at square, but for that a is not known. Let us go for v square minus u square is equal to 2as. Now, <clears throat> this is the application of Subart equation. We got to have the sign conventions. Let us say that the upward direction is positive, downward is negative. Uh... No, but we should not be going in this also because we do not know the acceleration and gravity is also there. So that that will be really confused. So we have another formula, the fourth formula for the SWOT equations. You must be remembering it. S is equal to U plus V divided by 2 into T. I think this is the best formula that we can use here instead of going for acceleration. <coughs> so U is 0, V is 4 divided by 2 and time is 2 so this will be 4 meter yeah i would be using this now so 4 meter so m here there will be gravity no doubt about that so you can take it as 10 and this is 4 so it will be 40 m and this will come out to be 8 m isn't it because this is 16 so you divide it by this it will be 8 m so the potential energy is 40 m. So it means that the total energy that was added into the system is 48 m. But we want to find the power. So power is total energy divided by the time and which is clearly 48 m divided by the total time which is 2 seconds. So our answer will be 24 m. So your answer will be B. Okay, so this is it. Let us see what is the correct answer from the mark scheme and my answer is b and yes for the question number seven the answer is b this is how we do this question and this is a very beautiful question it's a very tricky question no doubt about that and um, um, thanks for joining thanks for watching the video please join the youtube channel if you want to access paper two questions and you can access uh, the online course also that is very very important for your final examinations isn't it okay dear students all the best bye see you in the next video